From the archives of EW, the blind side didn't win Sandra Bullock over. I assumed it would be mushy and delicate. Sandra Bullock has faced off against murderous cyber terrorists, a psychotic bus bomber, and a cryogenically defrosted supervillain throughout her film career. However, nothing could have prepared her for meeting the real life Leanne Chui, the fiery southern spitfire that she portrays in The Blind Side. Bullock tells EW, Leanne scared me from the minute she opened the door. My little hands were folded in my lap as I sat in a chair in her home. I had nothing to say. Chuoi's bulldozer personality and the intensity of her motherly love are demonstrated in The Blind Side. Adapted from a book by Michael Lewis, the film recounts how Chuoi and her husband, Sean, a wealthy white Memphis couple with two kids of their own, took in a homeless black teenager named Michael Oher. Despite the raised eyebrows, snickering, and worse from many around them, the Chuois wound up adopting Oher as their son and helped him get into college and eventually join the NFL, where he now plays left tackle for the Baltimore Ravens, a cross-pollination of heartwarming family film and rousing sports movie, with a little Aaron brokovich style social consciousness thrown in. It's a tale that, on its face, seems almost too good to be true. These kinds of stories are like horses that want to run to the barn, acknowledges the film's writer-director, John Lee Hancock. You have to pull on the reins. If you just let them tell themselves, they'll be sappy. Bullock was initially hesitant to sign on because of this. She claims, I didn't trust it. I thought it would be schmaltzy and soft. After that, she spent a day with the real Mrs. Chui, who was anything but schmaltzy or soft because she had been raised by a strict U.S. martial father.